How do we find the cube of a number really fast? Say we have to find the cube of 12. The first thing we have to do is observe the units and the tens digit of the number that is being cubed. The tens digit is 1 and the units digit is 2. Then we ask ourselves one question. Tens digit multiplied by what will give us the units digit? Yes, what do we multiply a 1 with to get a 2? We multiply it with a 2 to get a 2. The tens digit multiplied by 2 gives us the units digit. This number 2 is important. We will see why. Once this is done, we write the cube of the tens digit here. That will be 1 cubed. In the second column, we multiply 1 cubed with this number. So we have 1 cubed multiplied by 2. In the third column, we multiply this product with this number again. That gives us 1 cubed multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. And in the fourth and the last column, we multiply this product with this number again. We get this. Cube of the tens digit, multiply it with 2, then multiply this with 2 and then multiply this with 2. Don't forget, this 2 that we are multiplying the numbers with is this 2 and not the units digit. For example, if we had to cube 26, we would have 2 times 3 is equal to 6. The cube of the tens digit could be 2 cubed. And then we could multiply with 3 and then multiply again with 3 and so on. So, not 6. Now let's calculate these values. 1 cubed is 1. 1 cubed times 2 is 2. This equals 4 and this will be 8. No, this is not our answer. Once this is done, we multiply the second and the third column numbers with 2. Multiplying 2 with 2 will give us 4 and multiplying 4 with 2 will give us 8. These two numbers here will always be 2. No matter what the number is, these two will always be 2. In this technique, we will always multiply the numbers in the second and the third columns with 2. Now we simply add the columns. 8, 4 plus 8 is 12. We write a 2 here and carry the 1 over. 1 plus 2 plus 4 is 7 and 1. That's the answer. 12 cubed is 1728. Let's go through it quickly. We first looked at the tens and the units digits. Multiplying the tens digit with 2 gave us the units digit. In the first column, we wrote the cube of the tens digit and continued multiplying it with 2 till we reached the fourth column. Then we multiplied the second and the third column numbers with 2 and then added each column. How did we derive this method? We simply used the cube of a binomial identity. We have just modified it a bit to get to the answer quickly and easily. Now I want you to solve the next example. You may refer to this one if you wish. With the help of this technique, try calculating 14 cubed. Pause the video. Take your time, but do try solving this. Okay, let's look at the solution. What multiplied by the tens digit will give us the units digit? 1 multiplied by 4 will give us 4. We write the cube of the tens digit first. 1 cubed will be 1. Then we multiply it with this number. 1 multiplied by 4 will give us 4. Multiplying this with 4 again will give us 16. And multiplying this with 4 again will give us 64. Once we are done with 4 columns, we multiply the numbers in the second and the third columns with 2. 4 times 2 is equal to 8 and 16 times 2 is 32. Now we just add the numbers in each column. This is 64, so we write a 4 here and carry the 6 over. 6 plus 16 plus 32 is 54. We write 4 here and carry the 5 over. 5 plus 4 plus 8 is equal to 17. 7 here and carry the 1 over. 1 plus 1 is 2. 14 cubed is 2744. Does this work for all numbers? To know the answer, watch the second part of this session where we will see a couple of more examples.